India is delighted to continue a long-standing association with IC, having earlier welcomed the IC family in 1960, 1997, and most recently in 2013. The IC, as we all know, has played a in dispensable role in advancing the global standards in electrotechnical domain through its unwavering commitment to voluntary consciousness based standardization the IC has helped shape to shape the world where the technology is not only efficient and inter portable and but also safe, inclusive and sustainable. I extend my deepest gratitude to the IC for continuing its proud tradition for convening the world's foremost electrotechnical experts in an environment that fosters the innovation, knowledge sharing, sustainability and long-lasting long partnership. India, through BIS, is privileged to uphold this tradition as host of this year's gathering. In this remarkable journey of global standardization, Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, has played a pivotal role in India's transformation. As India's national standards body, BIS not only strengthened the technical framework, but also led the charge in aligning the standardization with sustainability goals. Inflation rate in India is lowest, that is 2.07% in comparison with the world in last 11 years of Prime Minister Modi's regime our inflation is well under control and today it is lowest that's and uh, we are continuously monitoring essential commodity prices in 474 price monitoring centers and india very shortly is going to have the time dissemination that is precise time is essential for countries strategic and non-strategic sector Considering the importance of dissemination of Indian standard time, the project has been undertaken by the Department of Consumer Affairs with national association with National Physical Laboratory and ISRO. The project aims to create technology, infrastructure and disseminate IST, that is Indian standard time, from five sites across the India. India has become the 13th country worldwide to issue the UIML Pattern Approval Certificate, making a milestone in legal metrology. These are the few achievements. I cannot uh, list out everything, but I can say as far as digital India, as far as uh, our renewable energy, sustainable energy is concerned, with all proud, uh, with all uh, proud at my command, pride at my command, I can say you, India is marching ahead of the world. With these words, before conclusion, I offer my best wishes for the success of this incredible event. I am confident that the deliberations, insights and the collaboration that emerge over coming days will play a pivotal role in shaping the global discourse on electro technical standardization and sustainable innovation. Let us use this platform to inspire one another to innovate boldly and create a future where the technology upliftment humanity and protects our planet.